Welcome to Soul Fire Wisdom with Kate Olson. As an evolving spirit and change adventure navigator, it is Kate's mission to empower and guide you on your path and inspire your truest passions. She will encourage you to share your gifts, speak your truth, and ignite your inner wisdom and purpose. She hopes to do so with a little humor and grace and her own soul fire passion. Kate talks with amazing guests who have embraced the pursuit and are fanning the flames of their own passion, purpose, and soul fire wisdom. Now here's your host, Kate. Good afternoon. Welcome to Soul Fire Wisdom. So um, if you didn't listen to Embrace Change with Kate and we're meeting for the first time, I'm a hypnotherapist life coach, NLP practitioner, and also an author and sometimes speaker, as well as a a radio podcast host. Um, I did the show Embrace Change with Kate for almost two years, and uh, you can find those podcasts on embracechangeradio.com. And I wanted to go in a new direction with Soul Fire uh, Wisdom. Uh, People started asking the question, so, okay, I'm embracing change, what now? Um, And so that's kind of what I'm uh, going to be addressing with uh, the Soul Fire Wisdom uh, shows. I'm going to be talking to people about um, how they went about pursuing their dreams, how they achieved them, uh, and also what uh, wisdom or insight they gained through the process. And today's guest is Dorit Arrington, and he's right now um, on the path pursuing his dreams kind of uh, through some unconventional means. And so we're gonna talk about what he's doing and, uh, you know, see what what uh, he's encountered. Um, Dere has, has had his dream since he was a child, since he was about 11 years old. He's had the dream of, being a professional basketball player, and very specifically, he was motivated by the Golden State Warriors. So um, his dream is a little more specific than just being a basketball player, but we'll hear a little bit more about that. Um, Hello, Dari. Hi, Kate. How are you today? I'm doing well. Uh, Do you wanna Uh, Give the audience a little bit more information about yourself. Just tell them a little bit more about your background and, uh, you know, what you're doing as far as. uh, Yeah, so. um, Yeah, Uh, so I um, am originally from Chicago. I currently live in Seattle. Um, I've been a dreamer for as long as I've been dreaming. Um, my my goal is to be an NBA player. It's been to be, become an NBA player. Um, I just believe in a lot of bringing your dreams to life by just going for it and. Yeah, you know, it's easier said than done, but ever since that I was a kid, whatever I thought of, and at the time, I just went for it um, on a small scale or a big scale, um, and there was a lot of different no's, a lot of different, what are you doing, uh, but I just never stopped, and uh, my family would tell you I've always been a, a leader by doing such. And this was never my intention. It just so happened to be that that was the aura that I had. And 
so you know just as a kid I've, I've, I've always done that and basketball has been my way to be able to do those things so so yeah, you I kind of have this thing about the Golden State Warriors uh, mm -hmm. what's that all about so the Golden State Warriors uh, first and foremost that is my absolute top goal to become a player for the Golden State Warriors um, last year did a very huge uh, non-traditional approach to making that dream uh, come true and um, what that was is just kind of doing some things that a lot of people wouldn't do for instance I decided to camp outside the practice facility and the arena uh, Oracle arena at the time uh, for 31 days eight hours a day uh, with a sign that, you know, just kind of giving a message of what I'm willing to do and what I'm out here for and uh, in hopes to see my desire, my dedication, commitment uh, to making a connection, um, being able to get through, uh, which uh, so I felt. What were, what were you asking for then? what I was asking for is a chance at my dream for a workout uh, to bring me up in the organization to try me out, put me through uh, drills, uh, whatever they needed to do to test me, whether that was the way that I was able to talk to the media, anything to test me so that I can show you that I belong within the organization, um, an organization that I've watched for a very long time. And so that's what that's what that was about. Okay, and and you you didn't get a tryout, but uh, you mm -hmm. did. Uh, it did turn out to be uh, valuable in some ways. So, mm -hmm. what what were those, and what did you learn from it? Yeah. So the the main goal didn't absolutely work out, which uh, was it's okay. But with through the process, I got to learn more about myself and more about how I'm truly committed. And what I got from being out there for 31 days is I got to connect with some of the players, got to connect with some coaches. I even got to talk to the general manager on two occasions. Um, it took me hounding him down and finding him in strange places uh, that you just don't think you would see a general manager. But it, it showed me what I'm really willing to do and how far I'm really willing to go for my dream um, and so I made some connections while being there I've met some great people heard some stories uh, just from the people of Oakland and got to really share my story so it's just an overall beautiful experience and I that opened up the doors for interviews with uh, radio stations uh, I had a big interview with ABC 7 News Bay Area um, your show Yes. Uh, and it's the list goes on and it still will go on so those things I've I've got to accomplish while chasing that massive goal and um, yeah yes uh, Jerry I interviewed him last uh, I think at the end of January and that show is called follow your dreams and it's on uh, well, it's it's on my website, the com, and uh, it's also on iHeart, uh, Spreaker, Google Play, just about any place you uh, get your podcast. So you can listen to that interview if you'd like to kind of hear his background. Uh, but he. Even though he didn't uh, achieve his goal, he got a lot of media attention. So he's kind of starting off where that ended this year, and he has a new campaign. So do you want to tell the audience a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, so just like you said, um, just picking back up where I left off, uh, last year's campaign was called Be The Why, and that was just going – for your dreams in a non-traditional way and becoming that true why of you why you do things the way you do it and this year's follow-up is titled dream different 
And this is to encourage any and everybody, sports, not sports, whatever you do, to think outside of that box and continue to think outside of that box and not be afraid to challenge that and own up and embrace it because it's yours and those are your thoughts and stuff that you created. So what I'm, what I'll be doing with that is taking that same approach from last year, same goal, but now I really want to open up the doors to engage with a lot of the um, organizations in the Bay Area that deal with inner city kids. And I've partnered with uh, my uncle and his nonprofit to put together a, uh, a campaign of, for funding to give to those uh, organizations and to help them continue to grow their, their, their programs. And this will be a way for me to show those kids that, hey, I was one of you before. And I, I wanna encourage you and show you that this is what it takes to dream different and don't be afraid to go for whatever it is. You have a lot of resources for you. And I wanna be leading by example how I use my resources to further my goals and dreams. And my hopes is by completing the, the goal of the funding, it'll draw attention for the Warriors to see that this individual did this last year. He was standing out there for 31 days, full commitment. And now he's raising this amount of money to help give back to our communities just for a chance to work out to show that he belongs in this. And um, that is what this campaign and this project is more so about this year. Yeah, and also to help and inspire those inner city kids. Absolutely. So uh, what is the name of your uh, uncle's uh, foundation? It is called the Victor Cohen Foundation. Great. Yes, and you'll be doing that through um, a GoFundMe? Absolutely, yeah. So we, we have a GoFundMe page, um, all set to go, it's live. So we created uh, the necessary things to put that out. And you're gonna be putting that out on social media, on Facebook? Mm -hmm. and so I'll, I'll market that and promote it through all the social media uh, outlets that I have and operate from um, so people will be able to see and uh, engage with that through my social medias uh, so Instagram Facebook and LinkedIn and um, you were gonna be going down and and connecting with some of those uh, those organizations nonprofits yeah, so my, my goal is to be able to touch base in person with some of those uh, organizations and nonprofits um, next month, which also is the one year anniversary of Be The Why. So I felt like it's perfect time to go back in where I started and be able to uh, touch base with some of those organizations in late October. So, um what is your uh, background? Tell people a little bit about what you're actually doing now in in your real in life. Current. Yeah, so right now I'm a K-1 elementary school teacher. Uh, that's my, my day job. I work with kids, the education, uh, kindergartners and first graders uh, every day. And uh, I have my very own basketball training academy and so every day it's basketball training and then it's in the school working with the kids directly and then you have an online uh, community and kind of a what you call mm -hmm. your brand yes yeah, so my my brand is is my uh, that's my baby there that that's that's everything for me it's called life in basketball um, that brand is for for anyone that needs inspiration and motivation. So I do a lot of content creation, creative videos, interviews, um, 
quote, uh, and then I'm re just re-delivering uh, up sports updates um, around basketball. So it just kind of shows a wide variety of different ways that life and basketball tie together. Okay, and I understand that um, you uh, kind of have a strong feeling that uh, inner, city, inner city kids need to be able to uh, think differently or uh, be aware of alternate paths. And mm -hmm. yeah. uh, why do you? Why did you have that feeling? Uh, solely because I was one of those kids. I was an inner city kid, and I knew that I I I had thoughts and dreams just like the next person. Um, you know, wanting to go to a big school or becoming famous or um, you know having the latest threads or what whatnot. But I knew that as I got older, my life wasn't kind of descriptive that way it wasn't laid out that way and if I wanted those things I was going to have to challenge myself in a way that I hadn't done before and that was going to be thinking differently how I can still obtain those goals and aspirations and things of mine and not being afraid to do that and that's what I, I, I have that strong feeling about with uh, the inner city youth today is that a lot of kids and by me working with them, they are very creative mentally. They, they just are super creative and they don't necessarily have the right role models um, to encourage those thoughts, those ideas, business ideas, graphics, art, singing, uh, in everything that falls into the category, uh, tech and education, some wanting to be certain kind of doctors that we never even heard of. It's just a lot of different conversations and they feel they have to go a very structured way. And it's like, how can I get to this point? How can I get there if I have to do the same thing that everybody else does, but here's what I lack. And here's what I don't have that prevents me from getting yeah. there. And um, I just have that strong feeling that taking what you have and trying your absolute hardest to capitalize on that and impressing yourself before you impress others. Because if I believe if you start driving what's impressing you or what you thought of to impress the next person you're not staying true to yourself because it's all about trying to gain glory from others and you lose yourself within that and so you impressing yourself and staying on top of i really love what i do i actually love this and i don't care if millions of people or 10 people love this as much as i do i know that i do because what that will do it, it will fall in the right hands of the people that share that same openness yes and that's sometimes and that's what the why did yeah sometimes when you aren't presented with the traditional opportunities or traditional paths you really do have to you know blaze mm -hmm. your own trail so to speak absolutely and that takes thinking outside the box as you said well i am really glad we had a chance to talk today and yeah, me too. I'm, you know, wishing you the best on your uh, campaign, which when, when is this starting? So the official launch is October 1st. Okay, and it's going to be the October 1st through the 31st? Through the 31st, so another 31 days. Okay, well, good luck, and we'll talk to you again. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. Have a good day. Okay. We went a little over on time here. So I till next week, October 3rd, 1 p.m.
Thank you for listening to Soul Fire Wisdom with Kate Olson. We hope you enjoyed the show. If we made you laugh, brightened your day, or sparked a new thought, we have succeeded in our mission. Join us next time when we'll share more secrets and truths and all the magic of transformation that is the journey to Soul Fire Wisdom. Always remember, be fierce in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire.